Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Learn Math. In this session, we are going to find the cube roots of minus 27. So let's x be the cube root. Then we can write that x is equal to cube root of minus 27 now to remove cube root from the equation we will take cube of both sides taking cube of both sides so we can write x cube is equal to cube root of minus 27 whole Cube. Now cube cancels out with cube root and we have x cube is equal to minus 27. Taking 27 to the left hand side, so we have x plus 27 is equal to 0. 27 can be written as 3 cube is equal to 0. Now according to the formula, a cube plus b cube is equal to a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square. We can expand x cube plus 3 cube by using this formula. So we have x plus 3 into a square which will be x square minus a b which is x3 or we can write it 3x and plus b square which will be 3 square and 3 square is 9 that is equal to 0. Now according to the zero product property We can write that x plus 3 is equal to 0 or x square minus 3x plus 9 is equal to 0. Moving 3 to the right hand side, so we have x is equal to minus 3 and x square minus 3x plus 9 is equal to 0 is a quadratic equation with the standard form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Comparing the standard form with the upper equation, we can write that a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 3, and c is equal to 9. We will use quadratic formula to find solution of this quadratic equation. Quadratic formula is x is equal to minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Insert the values of a, b and c. So b is minus 3 plus minus minus 3 square minus 4 value of a is 1 and value of c is 9 divided by 2 into value of a is 1. So x is equal to minus and minus is plus 3 plus minus square of minus 3 is 9 and minus 4 multiplied with 1 is 4 multiplied with 9, 36. Minus 36 divided by 2 multiplied with 1 is 2. So x is equal to 3 plus minus 9 minus 36 is equal to minus 27. divided by 2. x is equal to 
3 plus minus and minus 27 can be written as minus 1 and to 9 and to 3 divided by 2. Now square root can be separated for terms in multiplication. So we can write minus 1 square root, 9 square root and 3 square root divided by 2. Now minus 1 square root is iota and square root of 9 is 3. So we can write x is equal to 3 plus minus 3 iota square root 3 divided by 2. Now 3 is common in the numerator but we will take minus 3 is common in order to make the internal term equivalent to omega and omega square. So x is equal to minus 3 common. So we are left with minus 1 here and we have minus plus or that can also be written as plus minus iota square root 3 divided by 2. Now we can write that x is equal to minus 3 minus 1 plus iota square root 3 divided by 2 and x is equal to minus 3 minus 1 minus iota square root 3 divided by 2. Now this term is equal to omega and this term is equal to omega square. So we can write that x is equal to minus 3 omega and x is equal to minus 3 omega square. So cube root, cube roots of minus 27 are x is equal to minus 3, so we have minus 3, minus 3 omega and minus 3 omega square. Hopefully this is easy to understand. If you find the video helpful, please like the video, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notified when a math problem is solved. Thank you.